So, beim letzten Mal wieder schön zusammengeledert hier von den ganzen Cops oder von den Wachen. Machen wir jetzt mal ein bisschen schneller. Ja. Ich möchte ja entkommen durch die U-Bahn-Station. Also, das sind wirklich so viele Cops. Oder halt, wie gesagt, Wachen. Das ist ja für mich sind das eigentlich Cops, die hier rumlaufen. Die uns suchen, weil wir flüchtig sind. Ah, das ist echt der Hammer. Was die so drauf haben. Okay, es ist krass, mit dem mal hier oben. Wir holen wild runter. Vielleicht kann man nämlich wenigstens mal einen. Ging der eine? Ich hoffe, der ging jetzt nur in die zweite. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, gut. Ich dachte schon, wenn ich vielleicht den einen hier weg habe. Oh nein, der kommt nicht, der kommt nur dahin. Okay, das war jetzt ein super Zufall. Das war kein bug using Oder so, wie ihr immer das wollt. Oh, hatte ich jetzt ein Glück gehabt. Ich glaube, das sind nämlich die einzigsten, die uns im Weg stehen. They'll never win. We can take the underground train to the ah, industrial zone near the Zeppelin factories. We'll be there in an hour. Sounds like you'll have a lot of fun. You're not coming? This isn't a hobby for me, Siska. If you want to hire me, then pay me. Or else, good luck. Try Arno if you want to volunteer. He's always desperate for a chance to clear his conscience. Problem is, whatever he does, it's never enough. I didn't much enjoy the last war I fought in, and I'm not eager to sign up for another. Siska mm. watches intently as Wilt maneuvers through the crowd. She fidgets with the button of her worn jacket, waiting for him to change his mind, to turn around and re-emerge from the anonymous masses. When I come to record, huh? Siska learned a long time ago that waiting for heroes would never change anything. And she was cross with herself for having once more entertained such folly. Heroes were for children's stories. In life, she'd met only those who cared more. And the locomotive's steam whistle is deafening. Siska buttons her coat and slips off towards the freight terminal. Alleine. Hmm. We must not quit. Da hinten kommt schon der Zug und wir fahren alleine. Is he coming? Hmm. Arno's question fades unanswered in the darkness. Siska meets his gaze with a solemn shake of her head. So we have to do this without him. Maybe if we wait a little longer. It wouldn't make a difference. He's not coming. A simple question of money. He wants more. I have nothing left to give to him. He figures hmm. he's in the clear with Rundane now that Ignaz won't link him to the town hall documents. Sadly, I cannot say that I'm surprised. It's just that I hope for more this time. Yeah, me auch. After everything that happened during those first few days of peace, I think he just wanted to protect himself. Not caring was a sensible choice. Now mm. the habit has become the man. Have you known him for a long time? Since the last days of a war which destroyed more than we can ever rebuild. Wilt was on the run from his regiment after killing a senior officer. A spat over a woman. A one morning my unit swept through a small town near Passau, foolishly hoping to find supplies amongst the ruins. 
Instead, I found Wilt starving and alone, hiding from the world and delirious okay. from the loft. Shift. You didn't kill him. I knew he was not one of ours, but something about his pathetic and weary eyes. I hesitated, only for a second. I too deserted and we survived together somehow in the rubble for a few months. Not long after that, peace came. He didn't go home afterward? Wilt cannot go home. The hangman's noose awaits him back in London, and he knows it. He lives like the lost exile he is. Forever temporary in a place that he doesn't understand. He tried swapping Vienna for Turin once. It made little difference. He was back here after only a few months. <laughs> well, I was that? tough on him earlier. If you're worried you upset him, I wouldn't waste your time. He doesn't let much get to him anymore. Now yeah. uh, we should move. Gehen wir mal los. Do you mind? What is it? Wir können uns das gar spielen. Na dann, eine Etage hoch. Und wir sollen da hinten ermitteln. We must not, we must not quit. Gut, Arno folgt uns so, das finde ich sehr gut. Hm, ganz kurz im Trocknen geht es nun wieder in den Regen. Oh. Ja, die Tür ist auf. <lacht> oh, meine Taschenlampe an, wenn ich sie schon habe. Und so viel Spiel hat man Taschenlampe nicht. Man nutzt sie am ja meistens gerne. Und hier habe ich sie im Brause so gut wie gar nicht. Naja. Machen wir doch nochmal aus. Oh, oh, oh. Hier, Arno, das ist was für dich. Schaltkreise, Maschinen, alles Smoke da. Smoke bellows from the colossal lip of the cooling tower. The stirrings of some steel titan echo from the cavernous chamber below. Keep going, we need to find access to the lower levels. Hmm. Oh, stop, da gab's was. Da lag da eben was rum, oder nicht? Oder sieht sie das nur mit der Taschenlampe? Wollen wir ein bisschen zurückgehen? Ah, sieht man wirklich schon mit der Taschenlampe. Voll 1 von 20. Oh. Okay, dann habe ich jetzt auch äh, vielleicht nach der Hälfte des Spiels schon erfahren, dass man hier auch noch mehr fahren kann. Oh, muss man es ausmachen. Dass man hier auch Geld finden kann. Ja, immerhin. Habe ich schon ein, eine Münze gefunden. Whatever is inside, it's not a small scale operation. The factory appears to have its own source of power. Hmm. Jetzt dachte ich schon, er will uns erschießen. Die kurze Bewegung. Okay, wir gehen rein. Oh, da haben wir einige Wege vor uns da unten. Now and then, human voices echo throughout the metal shafts connecting the lower levels. We should hmm. be careful. It'll be harder to deal with any guards now that Wilf isn't around. Das stimmt. Genau deswegen habe ich den Wild auch so gemocht. Aufschreiben. Oh, mal kurz zu mir bei. So, das ist sehr gut. Ich muss mal rein, nichts los. Umso besser für uns.
Hier ist auch niemand. A cacophony of whirring, hammering and drilling reverberates down the factory's corridors and air shafts. Some of this reminds me of an automobile plant. But the dimensions of the components suggest something much bigger and heavier. Hm. Hier soll die auch durch, ne? Militär vielleicht, das ist so panzermäßig, was wir bauen wollen. Bisher geht's ja noch mit den Ermittlungen. Vielleicht läuft Wild ja auch die ganze Zeit mit hinterher und hat sie alle schon erledigt. Das ist ja natürlich auch nicht schlecht. Oh, da unten sind irgendwelche Leute. The squeal from nearby loudspeakers pierces the din. Moments later, the factory noise has receded. The tannoy transmits a sharp intake of breath. After a half second pause, this day 264 of Project Night Shift announcement will be followed by a special message from Mr. Baynor. Announcement: Baynor. Threat of service disruption has been resolved. Maintain second order targets of six completed units per week. Announcement. Quality must be assured. A cartridge failure rate of 2% is unacceptable. Announcement. Testing safety is paramount. Report cartridge leaks immediately. Assembly line fatalities must be reduced. Opfer am Fließband. Announcement. Oh mein Gott. All workers to down tools for a special message from Mr. Baynor. I would like to reassure our workforce that despite recent reports of abuse of our technologies, Rendane products are only this your work ja, is essential for the continued safety of resident populations. Our products are bringing about a world in which war will be impossible. Only Rendane technologies can offer the required deterrent to would-be attackers and saboteurs. Consequently, I am delighted to announce that we will soon be upgrading production lines to deliver the next generation Mark II Peace Enforcer Unit. <laughs> Unscheduled announcement. Intruders detected. All security Was? personnel to the Northern Assembly Halls. Nein. The tannoy clicks off, and the approach of hurried and tense voices follows immediately. Siska looks to Anna to quell her panic, but finds only her own dread reflected in his frantic breathing. Oh nein, we can not abhauen. Arno stirs to the rasp of a dead bolt against a corroded steel door and opens his eyes to a cramped. Cisco lies inert on a bench in the corner. Even for a street kid, a blow like that will take a few hours to recover from. The heavy door swings open, and the room floods with light. Squinting. Welcome to our facility. Though uninvited, we are not at all displeased to host you. Cisco has come to her senses and with effort, sits up as she listens to Torvik's confident voice command the small space of the holding chamber. Not very talkative, I see. I guess we have here the young firebrand, Siska, and the wily old engineer, Arno. Hmm. Ignaz had described you as an older man. Ignaz, okay. Ignaz? I thought you had left Vienna. Oh, he tried. No doubt, with some degree of help from you. He almost made it too. We apprehended him and his child in Gorizia. Ah, oh, dear. Are own. they alive? My dear, what do you take us for? We are in the business of hearts and minds. What purpose does this secret facility serve? We make no secret of it, old man. We are proud to be one of the world's leading producers of peace and technology. The war left some terrible scars. I think we would all agree. Many unfairly blamed the conflict on the technologies used. They 
Luckily, one way or another, these idealists were defeated. Now, we understand that the only way to safeguard peace is to always be ready for war. Ah, das ist ein typischer Waffenhändler. You build weapons? We don't build Arno. Our work operates on a higher level. Only fear is powerful enough to deliver us along the route to peace. It is our most prized ally. I gather that you hmm. yourself have extensive experience in this field, Arno. We are all aware of the wonderful work you did as part of the Battlefield Technologies Unit during the war. I did not choose where my skills were put to work. Before okay. the war, I was happy as a medical chemist. We could use your expertise round here. Think about it. Anyway, I have some other duties to attend to now. We'll continue our talk later. With those words, Torbik is swiftly out of the door, leaving Siska and Arno once more in darkness. With the sound of his footsteps receding, Siska becomes acutely aware of her throbbing head pain. Hmm. I've heard enough from Torvik Benor for today. Let's get out of here. Siska slips a hairpin from the sole of her boot and sets to work on the rusty lock of the air shaft cover. Takes her less. Keine 60 Sekunden sehr gut. Impressive. We should leave via the roof. There are fewer guards up there. Wait, if what Torvik said is true, we can leave this factory of death intact? I don't see any other option. I know better than most what these machines will be used for, Arno. The beginning of every battlefield horror has its roots in a place like this. When you look upon it, you see only steel levers, copper wires, and rubber handles. But I see something different. I see ripped and flayed flesh, scattered like meat in the streets. I see it all, Arno. The swollen eyeballs, the shattered fragments of bone, the rotten pulp of guts tangled in barbed wire. Uh, so the I cannot leave Krieges. while this place continues to function. We must destroy this facility. I spent all my life designing things to work well. I suppose it shouldn't be too hard to do the opposite for a few hours. Let's <laughs> move before I change my mind. Na dann, geht mal beide runter. Ah, oh, noch ein Geldstück, ich bin der Hammer. <lacht> We must not 22 quit. immerhin schon. Und trotz allem hätte ich Hallo. Oh, wieso muss mir denn sowas passieren? Wieso? Ah. Na dann. Geld habe ich schon. Sehr gut. So muss das sein. Jetzt warte ich auch, bis der Typ, der wieder da ist. Ich nehme jetzt eine Lampe weiter rechts. Er dürfte, denke ich mal, jeden Moment kommen. Da gucke ich durch das Schlüsselloch und der Typ kommt einfach. Ja, und wir können den ja auch nicht niederregen, ne? Das ist dann sehr unvorteilhaft. Da kommt er. Oder auch nicht. Hier ist nix. Das sind nicht die Gefangenen, die ihr sucht. <lacht> so, dann das Ganze jetzt nochmal. Geh nach oben. Und der Arno geht am besten ganz nach oben. Okay, da ist nämlich wieder einer gewesen. Habt ihr das gesehen? Sein... Nee, doch nicht. Also... Hm. 
Ah, da unten ist einer. Oh oh. Oh Mann, ey. Ich wollte die Panik hier schieben. Geht, laufen wir schnell gerade aus. Manu, das läuft super. Genauso muss es sein. Das sind wir die ganzen Leute hier. A dense network of conveyor belts moving in stops and starts ferries metal components about the cavernous assembly room. And there the workers tinker with the items during intervals. Na dann schnell hier hoch. Schnell. Los, 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 Arno, du wirst verfolgt, Mann. Wir hätten auch hier unten lang gehen können, aber... Ich denke mal, da oben ist besser. I believe they're manufacturing their own vehicles to transport and launch the sulfur trioxide cartridges we saw in the distillery. This upper deck houses a central assembly computer, the master control over the production line. Arno surveys the large computer unit before scanning the room for other equipment. He observes a smelting furnace on hmm. the It's okay. big, but maybe we can load the mainframe computer into the crucible on the lower deck. If we can figure out how to ignite the furnace while the computer is inside, we could completely halt all production. What about the workers? I want to destroy this place, Arno, but I'm not going to murder people in the process. Hmm, vielleicht können wir erst einen Evakuierungsalarm auslösen oder vielleicht ist es der Preis wert. Langfristig retten wir mehr Leben. Okay, das eine ist natürlich mehr Arbeit für uns, aber ich möchte eigentlich auch keinen töten. It's a difficult decision. Maybe we could trigger an evacuation alarm first. Wurt came up with that trick a few days ago. 